champion coming up to minus 67 and pushing around a world champion. We'll wait and see. No, we'll wait. But the Greek is, uh, has also very good. Uh, he's very fast. He's very quick on this technique. And he has a good eye. Referee for the bout, Marek Kubin from the Czech Republic. Gets the fight underway. We have Zenas for Greece wearing blue, uh, wearing red. We have Avengi Plakutin from Russia in the blue colors. Zenas had a bye in the first round, scored 4-3, 4-0, 3-6 he lost and then came back. Uh, sorry, he, he won the bout and then came back with a 3-2 win in the semi-final. The referee calls a passivity warning for both. Zenas tries the Kazamazuki with that front hand jab. But Plakutin just ducked below that. Now these wouldn't have met very often because of the differences in the weights that they normally compete in. So they are going to be using these first third of the bout to test each other. And Zenos has been successful using that slightly higher reach advantage. Opens the score with a Yuko Wazari, uh, Yuko Wazari for two points for a kick or Ipon for three points for a head kick as you saw there from Plakutin. Does the, do the French team usually train heavyweights and lightweights together in the same as, as a squad or do you separate the weights? No, no, we used to train uh, with the whole team and uh, because we need also to compare the possibility by team and you, as you know that yes. everybody can meet everybody every exactly. weight and then the, no, it depends but uh, usually we just uh, um, not encourage but uh, just uh, put the guy from the same category but it's not uh, it's often that we can change and mix the, all the categories <laughs> into the last 40 seconds and it is still Dionysios Zenos from Greece leading 1.0 he has the central advantage over Avengi Plakutin Plakutin now trying to hunt his opponent down mm. but uh, cleverly Zenos gets out of the corner turns, him, turns his man into the last 15 seconds we go no category one warnings on either side. There is a category two. So Zenos can afford to step off the tatami with two seconds still on the clock. He will get a Han Sokachui warning. He won't be able to step off the tatami anymore, but he loses Senchu. So there's one point in it. Plakutin will have to go for him. And there was a close call on that reverse punch that Gyakozuki the coach certainly thought it was a point the judges didn't go for it but we'll have to wait and see what the video review team make of it so here is the after technique there kick from Zanus the punch goes out but whether mm. it doesn't didn't look no. quite uh, good enough there and it certainly didn't convince the important people in that video review team so they don't give the score well 
Avengi Plakutin may well have come up and to this category and surprised the world champion, but he didn't surprise Dionysius Zedas, who has taken the gold medal and the Euro European title back to Greece. The Greek was, did a 